Right, welcome to your rotations I learn. We're going to be looking at the example of a 90 counterclockwise, a 180, and a 90 clockwise. So let's go ahead and get started with example one. Rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin list the coordinates of the vertices of the new image. So clockwise is going to be, I'm sorry, not clockwise, counterclockwise is going to be in that direction. So you are going to need some tracing paper, so make sure you have a couple of sheets handy for that. And let's go ahead and trace the X and Y axis. And let's go ahead and identify the quadrilateral. Now, for this example, the quadrilateral is not named, which means we don't have um, letters on each endpoint. I'm going to go ahead and do that just because it makes it a lot easier when you go and do the actual transformation. So if we're going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise, each 90 degrees is one turn. So we're going to turn until our X and Y axis line up again, and there we have it. So this is going to be our image right here. It's going to look something like this. So we're going to make sure these ordered pairs are where they go. And I cheat a little bit. That's why I really use mechanical pencils. Because when it comes to stuff like this, you can just kind of very gently poke your hole through your paper. And you can plot it. And you don't have to keep lifting the paper up back and forth. So this one was A prime. This is D prime, C prime, and B prime. Now let me go ahead and reconnect the dots to make the transformation the rotated quadrilateral. Okay, we're done with this for a few minutes, so just set it aside. So let's go ahead and draw an XY chart and let's list the original and then let's list the image ordered pairs and see if we can figure out a pattern. So we're going to put A, B, C, D on this one, and we'll put our prime marks on this second one. All right, original A. Whoops, I forgot to go ahead and label those. There we go. Original A is a positive 2, 1. A B is a positive 3, 5, and a C is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's just 5, 5. D is going to be 6, 2. Okay, so let's check out A prime. A prime is a negative 1, positive 2. B prime is a negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, positive 3. C is a negative 5, positive 5. And D is negative 1, negative 2. And I believe that's 6 units all the way up, but let's count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so if you take a look at this, I notice a pattern, and I hope you notice that too. First of all, all of these numbers appear to be the same. This column right here is actually now over here. And all of those other numbers from our original are the same also except for one thing. And that one thing is they became the opposite. They all have those negative values. So, if we were to write a rule right here for counterclockwise, if you notice what the y values were are now in the x column and they are opposite. So we're going to put a negative y right there. And the x values are now in the y column, but they did not change at all, so we're not going to put a negative. We're just going to put an X there. And that's how you write a rule for a counterclockwise rotation.